The pistons and connecting rods are some of my favorite parts. Hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm Greg. Welcome back to my machine shop. Today we're going to work on the con rods and the pistons. We've got some aluminum round here for the pistons and I've already made up the blanks for the con rods. Well, let's just jump right into it. As I've mentioned, I've already prepared the connecting rod blank, which includes bringing it to the proper thickness. First, I'll use the CNC machine to create the desired shape on the bottom of the connecting rod. This will be the first step in making the rod journal cap. Machining of the con rod is done in two operations. A roughing operation that removes most of the material, and then a finishing pass, which gives us the desired shape. I'm pleased with that finish. Alright, let's take it over to the mill and finish off the cap for the crankshaft rod journal. So we've machined the profile for the end of the con rod. Now we're going to machine countersink 3 16th and then an 089 through hole which will be eventually threaded for a 440 screw. The clearance hole we'll drill after we separate the cap. Let's put this in the mill. Drill this, separate the cap. We'll use the edge finder to center the X and Y axis at the center of the cap. Then we create the countersink with a 3 16th flat end mill. Spot drill and drill each of the holes for a tapped 440 screw. Finally, we take our saw blade and cut off the cap. If you look at the way the oil collects and creates a big rolling ball of oil on the leading edge of that saw blade. That saw blade does a pretty nice job. I mark the cap and con rod with die kim. It's important to match not only the con rod to its cap, but in which orientation it is mounted. So we've threaded the con rod for a 440 screw, attached the cap. Now we're going to drill the two holes, one for the main journal, crank journal, and one for the piston rod journal. I've used the edge finder to find the center side by side, and I'm going to visually use the joint between the cap and the con rod for that point there. I'll zero everything and then make my piston rod end on the same Y axis. I use a couple of drill sizes stepping up to the large hole. I drill it just under a half inch and then use the reamer to bring it to the final .501 dimension. Okay. 
And again, spot drill, drill, and ream to 0.251 inches. So that completes the functional machining. Up next, we've got what could be called the cosmetic machining. I'm gonna be doing this on the CNC machine to ensure I've got perfect alignment from the CNC machine features to the existing holes. I'm gonna place two pins in a CNC machine fixture that will align the conrod. This will allow me not only to align the CNC machine features to the existing holes, but will allow me to flip the conrod over and machine the opposite side, maintaining, ideally, perfect alignment between the top and bottom features and the existing holes. After machining the fixture surface flat and creating the two pockets for a half inch and quarter inch pin, I drill and tap a couple of holes to secure the conrod to the fixture. Then it's time to cut the CNC machine loose. And First we remove most of the material. This operation only needs to be done on one side of the conrod, of course. A 3 16 ball-in mill is used to do most of the cosmetic machining on each side of the conrod. A 332nd flat end mill is used to machine out the pocket that forms the I beam cross section of the connecting rod. Then we flip the workpiece over and machine the other side using the same set of operations. And remember, all of the Fusion 360 files used to cut these parts out on the CNC machine are available on my Patreon page. Link below. I don't know, the conrods are one of my favorite parts. They just look cool. Next up are the pistons, which are a fairly routine turning operation on the lathe. I use the cylinder sleeves as a fit gauge, making sure I hit the right outside diameter for the piston. I use a fresh parting tool to create the groove in the piston for the Viton O-ring we'll be using in place of rings. We then take it over to the mill to drill the hole for the wrist pin. I use the edge finder to touch up on the two jaws to find the center of the piston and then the end of the piston to place the hole vertically. And finally, we run one operation on the CNC router to machine out the inside of the piston. Here I'm using a quarter inch flat end mill. It's important to use packing to protect the sides of the piston from the jaws of the vise. You don't want a vertical scratch that will ruin your compression. And that completes our connecting rods and pistons. Here the con rods are installed on our crankshaft. At this point we're ready to assemble the short block. That's the crankcase, block, cylinder sleeves, crankshaft, conrods, pistons, and camshaft. Well, it's been fun. I'm Greg. Thanks for visiting me in my machine shop. Until next time, take care.